Mr. Malash, as student body treasurer, it is my honor to present to you the graduating, graduating class of 2019. Everyone, please remain standing as we pay honor to our country with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. We will now sing our national anthem. Now I am pleased to introduce our superintendent, Mr. Dennis McDavid. What a beautiful night. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, parents, guardians, grandparents, siblings, guests, colleagues, and graduates, it's my honor to welcome you this evening. As I begin, I'd like to introduce and thank our school board members for all of their hard work. Our school board is one of just a handful of the nearly 600 school boards in the state to have earned the prestigious Standard of Excellence designation. They've done this by dedicating themselves and sacrificing their time and their talents in serving all of us, students, staff, and the community. I'd like to introduce each of them and ask them to stand. Please hold your applause until all seven have been introduced. Our treasurer, Mr. Mitchell Moses, is unfortunately out of state this evening on business. Our trustees are Roger Blake, Mike Tripp, and Ron Justice. Our officers, officers are Secretary Cheryl Stoddard, Vice President Keith Logsdon, and President Mary Jo Israel. Please join me in thanking them. I'd also like to introduce our central office team. This group of people works behind the scenes and they are intently focused on helping our building, administrators, and our teachers create the conditions needed for every child in our district to succeed. Again, please hold your applause until all are introduced. Our team is Deputy Superintendent Larry Gallagher, Director of Schools and Human Resources Chris Sandoval, Director of Student Services Heather Lackey, 
Director of Curriculum, Technology, Assessments, and Grants, Scott Francis, and Director of Communications, Jessica Stilger. Please join me in thanking them. I'd also like to acknowledge our principal, Mr. Andy Malosh, our assistant principals. Our assistant principals, Shamika Womble and Carolyn Krieger. And their team of teachers, counselors, secretaries, and support staff. I want to make a special mention of Mrs. Sandvit and Ms. Flood, our senior class sponsors. They've done another great job this year. Now to the class of 2019. <clears throat> You've been a remarkable class. While at Berkeley High School, 70% of you took at least one advanced placement class. Those are college level classes. Very few, very, very few schools in the country can match that level of success. 14% of the class took rigorous vocational education classes, and over 40 of you earned certifications in everything from computer programming to auto mechanics to nurse assistantships. Nearly 30% of the class was in band, orchestra, choir, or drama. 40% of you distinguished yourselves on the athletic fields. As a class, you have performed over 14,000 hours of volunteer service, running blood drives, collecting food for the needy, and lending hand to many worthy causes. That's astounding. <clears throat> Our orchestra was one of three high school orchestras nationwide which was invited to play at Carnegie Hall this year for the World Stride Music Festival. <clears throat> Our hockey team had the highest GPA of any hockey team in the state. <laughs> A record number of DECA students advanced to the international level of competition this year. And many of our athletic teams have had fantastic and or record setting years throughout the year. With your help, class of 2019, we became the first school in the state to adopt the Sources of Strength, a peer-led wellness program that benefits all students. In terms of academics, 69%, I'm sorry, 69 of you are graduating tonight with a GPA of 3.9 or higher. <laughs> nearly, <laughs> nearly 62% of the class is graduating with academic distinction. This is an incredible achievement when you consider, consider the level of classes you took and the teachers that you had. I know your teachers. They don't give away grades. They are tough and rigorous. They are kind and caring. They are thoughtful and supportive, but they don't give away grades. So as a class, you should be incredibly proud of that achievement. <laughs> Let me tell you more. Next year, 10 of you plan to continue, continue your education at vocational schools. Another 10 are heading immediately into the workforce, and, a yet, and yet another 10 are taking a gap year. Four of you will begin serving the country immediately as you enter the United States Army, Air Force, National Guard, or Marines. Ninety percent of you have applied to at least one college to continue your studies next year, and as a class, you have earned well over $6.5 million in scholarship. <clears throat> in an increasingly competitive college application process, 75 percent of those who applied to Michigan State were accepted, and 43 percent of those applying to the University of Michigan were accepted there. <clears throat> Next year, you and your classmates will be attending nearly every public and private university in the state. 
great places like Central and Eastern, Oakland University, Wayne State, Grand Valley State, Albion, Kalamazoo College, and Lawrence Tech, among others. Some of you will go out of state and have been accepted and or will be attending Hampton University, Spelman College, American University, American International University of London, Brandeis University, Ohio State University, Boston, hey, come on now. <laughs> we, we love them all. Um, Boston University, Temple, Tulane, Emerson College, UCLA, Howard University, North Carolina A&T, Alabama, University of San Francisco, and the University of Washington in St. Louis, among many others. Great job. <laughs> many of you who are included in those numbers that were just mentioned, and many who are not, struggled through high school with issues not always known to others. Some of you may have wrestled with figuring out what the importance of high school was. Some of you may be late bloomers. Some of you may have had health issues or a learning disability or a cognitive issue or family problems which made the work harder and the struggle real. Your efforts and successes and the perspectives you bring enrich and ennoble all of us. I want all of you graduates to know that we are equally proud of and equally happy for each and every one of you. <clears throat> We're here tonight to celebrate you and your success, and as I've just mentioned, there's plenty to celebrate. It's appropriate that we look back and celebrate you as you end your 13 years with the Berkeley School District. And yet, we're gathered here tonight for a commencement, a word which means a beginning, not an ending. So you are here tonight to commence, to begin the rest of your lives. And as we think about that, I want to take a moment to recognize that today, June 6th, is the 75th anniversary of the D-Day invasions in France. 75 years ago today, thousands of Allied soldiers stormed the beaches of Normandy and gave their lives in an effort to free a continent and save a world. It's, it is fitting that we remember them tonight because in a very real sense, their struggles and their sacrifices and their successes largely enable all of us to choose the lives we choose to live. And the choices we make and the effort we expend and our commitment to excellence will make all the difference in each of our lives. I have no doubt that wherever you go and whatever you do, you'll be successful. I also know that you will struggle on your path to success. And I know that because we all struggle. I want to talk tonight a little bit about those struggles. Because in today's world, people seem obsessed with posting their successes, real or imagined, and giving people the impression that things are easy, that their life is great, and that, and that if your life isn't easy, you're doing something wrong. All of that is an illusion. I'm here to tell you that there will be times in the future, as there have been in the past, when we, you and me, and all of us gathered here tonight, when we'll doubt ourselves. There'll be times when we will fail, when we will stumble, when we will feel insecure and inadequate. There will be times when we make mistakes and misjudgments, when we speak intemperate words, and when we miscalculate and misunderestimate, as one of our presidents famously said, proving the point. We'll struggle with classes at college and instructors there. We'll struggle with bosses at work and problems with a friend and struggles with mom and dad at home. You'll struggle with how you decide to focus your life's work, and once you decide what that focus is, you'll struggle with the work. I want you to know that that's normal. That's what we all go through. And at those times, in the midst of all those struggles, are also the times when growth happens, when learning happens, and when maturation happens. And those struggles, all of them, can be wonderfully challenging, invigorating, and life-affirming. You should know that wherever you are, and whatever you're struggling with, is what you're meant to be struggling with. Know that by wrestling with those issues, whatever the issue, you're developing empathy, compassion, and concern for others. You're also developing the persistence and the resilience you need to tackle your next challenge. As you struggle, 
As you struggle, you are stretching your intellectual boundaries and you are testing your capacity to grow and mature. Those struggles will make you a better student, a better son or a daughter, a better friend and employee, a better mother or father, a better life partner, and a better person. As you have gone through your schooling with us, I hope that you have learned how to struggle. I hope that when, you, when struggling, you've learned to rely on your intellect and your instincts, to talk with your parents and trusted friends, to read good books and great biographies to see how your heroes handled their struggles. I hope you know that you already have a whole network of people who care about you and who love you and who, above all, want you to be happy and fulfilled. I hope that in your next phase of life, you will continue to seek out and develop your own support network. I hope that you will also be a reliable and trusted friend to, friend to others and support them as they also go through their own struggles. I also hope that you know that you already have an enormous capacity to be kind and forgiving, and sometimes you first need to be kind and forgiving to yourselves. I hope you understand that whether you breezed through high school at Berkeley High School or whether people were metaphorically pushing and pulling you across this stage, tonight you made it. Understand, <laughs> understand that what you choose to do with your life hasn't yet been determined. Know that being a great or a challenged student in high school does not cast the die for the rest of your life. You are each in control of your own destiny. You each get to write your own story, and a new chapter starts tonight. So graduates, let me offer my congratulations and those of the entire district to each of you tonight. I'm very happy for you and can't wait to see how you write your own story. Congratulations. Please stand as the class of 2019 invites you to sing the Berkeley High School alma mater. <laughs>
Good evening, seniors, fellow students and guests, overly emotional family members and administration. <laughs> Four years ago, we entered a place called high school. Think about these past few years. Who are we when we started? Who are we now that it's over? Throughout this adventure, the idea of our legacy has crossed my mind. What will the class of 2019 be known for? If I had to take a guess, I would say that this particular class would be known for truly showing what the Berkeley difference is all about, acceptance. As eighth graders, we are told high school is the time to find out who you are, the best years of your life. Starting high school wasn't really fun. I never truly felt accepted until I came to Berkeley High. When I came here as a junior, I was prepared for SATs, AP classes, not a lot of people to talk to, and flashy school dances. In my mind, I believed that coming into a new school, I wouldn't have a lot of friends, people would think I'm weird, and being surrounded by people who have known each other for their whole lives scared me. But then I quickly discovered that our class was a class that opened people with welcome arms. Spending these past few years with my fellow classmates, I have a new perspective on the high school experience. We are involved in many different activities. A lot of my friends and I are in drama club. Many of us play sports. At this school, we are allowed to do what we enjoy with people that share our similar interests. We're all so different, yet we accept each other and we lift each other up. Being surrounded by the positivity of my classmates has helped me learn more about myself and who I want to be. Along our journey, We've laughed, we've cried, and we've bonded. More importantly, we have displayed kindness, dedication, passion, support, and other tremendous qualities that prove that we are the future. We have the power to influence others and make a difference in our world. To me, that is the Berkeley difference. To the class of 2019, I say, break a leg.
everyone. <laughs> I look out at this array of maroon and blue and I see many faces. I see faces that I've known since preschool or elementary school, others I've known since middle school or high school, and for some, we've just met this year. Regardless of how long you've known me, or whether or not you know me, we've all been sent on a similar sort of path. We are sent off to school as toddlers and now leave as adults. Everything in between then and now might vary, but when stripped down to the bones, we are Berkeley High School's class of 2019. Getting to this day was often a messy experience and it looked different for everyone. It was mixed with good and bad mess, perhaps parents divorcing, getting your license, the 2008 financial aid crisis, watching Disney Channel movies, moving, and everything else. High school is not excluded from the in-between mess, not in the slightest. At some points, today seemed too far off to be real or came dangerously close to not being an actuality. But nonetheless, we did it. High school is where we really began to grow up and learn about ourselves. It's different from the movies we've been raised on, but we've made high school our own. We are leaving here today better versions of ourselves, equipped to face the real world thanks to our parents, our teachers, and most importantly, ourselves. No matter what your in-between looked like, we got here together, and now, as a collective, we are excited and perhaps a bit scared to graduate. Despite our differences, all of our lives have been a journey that have led up to this point. This is what we've been trained for and what we've worked towards these past 13 years. This is where our lives really begin. Class of 2019, I'm proud of us. We have accomplished a goal that's been set in front of us since the moment we're born. Even if things didn't work out the way you planned or imagined, I'm still proud and I know that everyone who has guided you in this process is too. We've made immense progress not only as people but as a class throughout our journey. We've used that progress to make it to today. Today is a paradox. It's both an end and a beginning. It is the end of high school and arguably the end of our childhood. However, it is also a beginning. High school is just the beginning of what we can do and who we will be. Whether you're off to college, trade school, a gap year, or the armed forces, you are doing whatever you need to do to better yourself. We are growing up. We are moving on. It's bittersweet, but to those who say high school is the best time of your life, I say here's to the best that's yet to come.
Superintendent McDavid, President Israel, members of the Board of Education, faculty and staff, friends, relatives, and most importantly, members of the class of 2019. It is my privilege to address you at commencement tonight. Before I begin, I think we would be remiss if we did not acknowledge the folks sitting behind you tonight. Your families, friends, teachers, counselors, and administrators have each helped to inspire and empower you to develop into the wonderful people you have all become. These people have taught and motivated you to persevere through the tough times in order to accomplish great things. They have shaped and molded the person you are through their countless hours of love and care. Please stand up, turn around to face those folks, and give them a rousing applause. <clears throat> and so, as I've given a lot of thought about tonight and what to talk about, there were two ideas that continued to recur in my head throughout this school year. The first idea was how we project our life's direction and the other idea was the often nonlinear journey we may take to get there. As young kids, these both seem like easy concepts. Parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and friends would often ask kids the what do you want to be when you grow up question, often eliciting some sort of humorous response. My son, Oliver, for example, is six years old and he's in kindergarten. He loves rocks, and he loves bugs, and he's currently weighing his options of being either a geologist or an entomologist, which I learned from him as a bug scientist. On the other hand, my daughter Lucy, who is three years old, floats between thoughts of being an astronaut or turning into Elsa from the movie Frozen as an adult. For me, however, the earliest memory I can recall in which I thought about my future really wasn't until seventh grade. Every aspect of my life at that time was consumed by basketball. I can remember shooting hoops in my backyard every night until the sun went down. I also remember watching every single NBA game my parents would let me. I even had a small basketball hoop in my bedroom, which I would use endlessly till my parents asked me to stop making such a racket upstairs. Because of all this, I naturally decided I'd be a professional basketball player when I grew up. <laughs> Finally, at 13 years old, I had decided what I was going to do with my life. Now, for those of you sitting in the back row tonight, I can assure you that I won't look any taller if you were to walk closer. <laughs> Genetics, unfortunately, were not kind toward my dreams of being in the NBA. Therefore, when I reached my peak height in eighth grade, which ironically is as tall as I am now, <laughs> I knew it was time to select a new future plan. As I progressed through high school, people around me started to talk with a little more certainty about their futures. There were many aspiring to become future doctors, lawyers, surgeons, and other important sounding professions. Yet, for me, I honestly felt a little lost not having such a clear direction as my peers. It really wasn't until my senior year that I realized I should use my greatest strength, which was my mathematical prowess. Now, that word prowess was carefully selected tonight so that this new direction would sound equally as cool as NBA superstar. 
At the time, I felt that fields such as engineering or accounting would not only be commonsensical, but it would also provide a safe and secure future for me. Finally, at 18 years old, I had decided what I was going to do with my life. Now, although genetics wasn't a barrier to this new direction, I quickly learned that finances would be the culprit this time. Unfortunately, the places I needed to attend to set myself up successfully were just out of my reach, and thus, I had to change directions yet again. A couple years into college, I was finally forced to commit to a direction and a career by declaring a major. At the time, I was still a little uncertain, but I knew that spinning my wheels would only lead to more time and money between me and what lay ahead. Because I had found a niche of helping those around me with their math and writing, it only seemed logical that I'd follow in my father's footsteps and become a teacher. As I finished up school, I found great enjoyment and success in my student teaching and in substitute teaching. However, it really wasn't until I landed in Berkeley 12 years ago that I started to feel that serendipitous moment of belonging in my life. For the first time that I can remember, I felt like I was doing exactly what I was put on this earth to do. <laughs> Finally, at 24, I had decided what I was going to do with my life. I'd spend the next eight years teaching math here at Berkeley High School. In fact, some of you have siblings in the audience tonight who are students in my classroom years ago. I loved every minute of those eight years, yet, like before, directions change and opportunities present themselves in ways you don't always expect or anticipate. At the conclusion of my eighth year of teaching, I had the opportunity and privilege to become the assistant principal of this place I'd grown to love so much. As you can imagine, being an assistant principal was as challenging as it was rewarding. As time progressed, however, my hesitations of leaving the classroom were greatly outweighed by the feeling of accomplishment I would have in supporting students, teachers, and parents. Finally, at 32 years old, I decided what I was going to do with my life. Now, I'm sure most of you have predicted the trajectory of this speech, which tells the story of what puts me in front of you tonight. This year has simply been the most personally and professionally rewarding year of my life. This job has challenged me to grow and adapt in ways I never thought were possible. If you had asked my 13, 18, 24, and 32-year-old self if I would be where I am tonight, I likely would have laughed at you. Yet, here I am speaking to you tonight as your principal. My favorite comedian, Dimitri Martin has a sketch which he labels success. In it, he has two very different illustrations. On one side is a line rising consistently from left to right, which he labels underneath what people think it looks like. On the other side is a much messier, squiggly line that goes up, down, left, and right, but it continues upward. Underneath that illustration, he labels this drawing what it really looks like. And to me, this squiggly drawing on the right speaks profoundly to the path I've taken to where I am. While I've had some setbacks and detours along the way, they have shaped me into the person I have become. I don't claim to have reached that pinnacle of success at the top. Rather, most days, I find myself among the squiggles. However, as I've grown and learned in my various roles, I've known in my heart that each stop has been exactly where I was supposed to be at that time and that I was doing exactly what I was supposed to be doing. Having spoken with many members of the class of 2019 during these past four years, I've heard a variety of potential paths and future plans. Some of you have incredibly specific roadmaps laid out for yourselves, while others of you are still figuring things out. Please know that whether there is a plan or no plan, it's a journey along the way that makes us who we are. Plans often change, and seemingly straight paths often have detours. Don't be afraid to take those detours and change the script. It is in those times, among the squiggles, that I think we find ourselves. And so this leads to my final piece of advice for the class of 2019. 
if at some point in your future, someone asks you, what do you want to do with your life? And you aren't sure you know the answer to that question, please feel free to tell them that your high school principal was 36 years old when he finally figured out the answer to that question. I thank you all for being here tonight and wish every member of the class of 2019 the best of luck in what the future holds. Mr. McDavid, members of the Board of Education, tonight I can certify that all of these students have met or exceeded the requirements set forth to graduate. <laughs> Class of 2019, you are and always will be my very first graduating class. And for that reason, you will always be special to me. Tonight, I am honored and privileged to call you graduates of Berkeley High School. Thank you. Mitchell Ryan Labe. Mackenzie Alexis Fields. Lydia Madeline Wibbleman. Ashley Marie Bertling. Evan Corey Krasnick. Miles Alexander Adams. Elijah Saul Adelson. Marjorie Leon Bing Ahern. Gabrielle Marie Aiello. Jessica Marilyn Alexander. Trinity Makari S. Allen. Jonathan Brian Alpert. Logan Henry Anderson. Nia Imani Anderson. Azriel Ruvain Epap. Luke Vasilios Apostol. Juliana Marie Auerbach. Mackenzie Rose Aquer. Nicholas Vladimir Bonmuller. Jack David Baker. Liam Edward Belnave. Samantha Ann Balwinski. Isabel Grace Barber. Mason Adib Batish. Margaret Marie Bodwin. Nicholas Alexander Belcher. McKenna Grace Bellamy. Gabriel Burke. Christian Bradley Beswick. Clara Evelyn Benick. <laughs> Helen Emma Benick. <laughs> Trey Wayne Bishop. <laughs> Tamia Shamel Blackwell. <laughs> Spencer Eli Blatt. <laughs> Asher Michael Block.
Eve Elizabeth Bodie. Danielle Marie Bogus. Jason Craig Borman. Emily Elise Bourgeois. Samantha Nicole Bourgeois. Brendan Sean Bowers. Brennan Drake Brantley. Drew Marie Brewer. Ryder Nicholas Bryce. Thomas Brinkley. Aaron Mitchell Brooks. William Lamonte Brooks. Layla Monet Brown. Charlotte Grace Bruce. Brianna Marie Brudenell. London Atta Brunson. Jacob Thomas Budzinski. Dylan Matthew Burke. Kristen A. Heaven Caballero. Hannah Catherine Callender. August Oatkin Campbell. Ava Marie Campbell. Sophia Rose Carleso. Trevor J. Dalton Karnovsky. Kimber Kyra Carter. Savannah Chloe Cassida. Kenna Michelle Childress. Kendall James Christensen. Lauren Ariel Eliza Cochran. Samuel Philip Cohen. Alexander Lee Coker. Max Ethan Collins. Mallory Lane Combs. Murphy Elizabeth Combs. Megan Elizabeth Cook. Hillary Grace Kuhn. Jake Ryan Cooper. John Edward Cooper. Annie Michael Crawley. Natalie Ava Cripps. Abby Grace Cross. Sydney Rachel Crum. Benjamin James Cummings. Lily Marie Danes. Sarah Catherine Day. Wyatt Eugene Deeds. Marshala Savan Denham. Brian Vincent Desmond. Olivia Grace DeCarlo. Jalen Todd Dixon. Kyle Eugene Domzalski. <laughs> Hannah Ray Donnelly. <laughs> Caroline Grace Downs. 
Olivia Louise Drew. Jacob Douglas Drobat. Jack Naughton Drury. Jada Latanya Dooley. Lindsay Jordan Durham. Cassidy Rose Dykes. Samantha Jane Distant. Aboye Maye Efebo. Kaylee Rose Egrin. Sabrina Grace Ely. Kennedy DeLeon Ellison. Nyla Sierra Arzita Estelle. Elliot Mendel Ettinger. Dominic Kono Evanoff. Bernard Neville Farquharson. Taran Lazar Favors. Nicholas Matthew Fico. Alexander Patrick Fetterman. Mackenzie Paige Finley. Simon Pierce Fishman. Layla Corinne Natrice Fitch. Alexia Fitzgerald. Tessa Venus Fletcher. Matthew William Foy. Orla Guinevere Fournier. Marcus Evan Frankel. Susanna Leah Gad. Grace Ellen Gallagher. Mackenzie Danielle Gaponic. Eddie, Eddie, I'm all for Klempt. Eddie Gakure Gathogo. Anna Marie Gowell. Andrew Stephen Georgeff. Max Allen Goldstein. Oscar Winslow Gordon. Ramia Diana Grant. Cassidy Jean Grobo. Haley Nicole Grog. Jared Seth Guerrero. Joshua Michael Gutentag. Nicole Lauren Geyer. John Patrick Hageman. Jonathan Najib Hakim. 
Mary Catherine Hallis. Cameron Mackenzie Lee Harris. Troy Anthony Haygood II. Annika Elizabeth Hellenberger. Hunter Ryan Henson. Shayna Leah Hirsch. Heather Nicole Herzman. Ethan Walker Hill. Laura Nicole Hotaki. Jewel Ariane Hodges. Monica Michelle Hodges. Layla Marie Hodson. Lillian Grace Howard. Erica Kate Hurley. Isabel Robinson M. Isabella Victoria Inman. Cameron Michael Eisen. Mohammed Hicham Isa. Armin Robert Jacobs. Noah Samuel Jacob. Brooklyn Olivia Johnson. Mia Janae Jones. Ross Robert Jones. Shakela Jewel Jones. Sydney Loreen Jones. Joseph Charles Kaminsky. Aiden Day Canellos. Elizabeth Cavanaugh. Aiden Marcus K. Yep. Thomas Frederick Carlson Kennedy. Mia Nowak King. Sabrina Margaret. Kirchner, <laughs> Hannah Lily Knoll, <laughs> Mary Lauren Cook, <laughs> Leonardo Oliver Koretz, <laughs> Daniel George Kozdrowski. Evan Thomas Coster. Jackson Broda Kramer. Ashley Ann Kraus. Sloan Leslie Krugel. Harper Olesia Krinsky. Christina Rose Krishak. Peyton Catherine Larimer. 
Matthew Eduardo Larson. Natalie K. Leeper. Dewana Dion Lester. Rachel Ann Levy. Jackson Edward Lovechuck. Chloe Pearl Luke. Jonah Seth Lusky. Genevieve Rose Lux. Jake Rocco Liskawa. Elizabeth Rosquita McCarrig. Kaylee Allison McDonald. Cambry Marie Machiniak. Destiny Monet Madkin. Colin James Mallon. Raquel Gage Marlett. Anthony Craig Marles. Thomas Patrick Maruskin. Joey Laurel Marzerati. Jacob Daniel McCardle. Bailey Rose McAvoy. Alyssa Renee McBride. Kennedy Renee McCullers. Chloe Ann McLone. Brianna Melanie McIntosh. Spencer Rourke Mead. Ainsley Claire Melrose. Owen Graham Milanowski. Anna Grace Miller. Ryan Hunter Miller. Drake Ryan Monroe. Ivy Holiday Moore. Maxfield Delaney Morton. Mackay Keyshawn Murray. Nicholas Sebastian Murray. Fatu Sar Enjai. Zachary Matthew Nemeth. Zoe, Sydney Page Newman. Joshua David Nodler. Noah Edward Ozentowski. Dylan Reese Atrock. Dominique Michaela Pace. Mercedes Unique Pace. Leah Marie 
Palazzolo. Evan Chase Palmer. Luke David Paulus. Kira Ann Patterson. Evan Blake Payne. Taylor Renee Peters. Lauren Nicole Phillips. Zoe Morgan Phillips. Jaden Ricardo Pierce. Jayon Israel Pizarro. Ian Edward Plamper. Eleanor Juliana Polanski. Nico Poljanic LaBeouf. Jacob Lewis Primack. Alex Conlin Queen. <laughs> Gret Benjamin Radomski. Blake Britton Ratliff. Nora Lily Ryan. Jada Savan Richardson. Christopher Douglas Ringe. Dana Gabriel Wrinkle. Carolyn Ingle Robertson. Olivia Simone Robinson. Hazel Rosenberg. Edward Anthony Rosenthal. Emma Renee Rowan. Hannah Rosemary Rowe. Ramana Mary Farida Ryan. Cameron Alexandra Sawicki. Lydia Ann Sawicki. Carter Michael Schmidt. Grace Nicole Schneider. Maxwell Aiden Schoonover. <laughs> Sabrina Mary Sislowitz. Evie Miriam Siegel. Matthew Harry Siegel. Edward George. Seward. Jackson Lawrence Sewell. Titus Luke Sewell. Anan Najib Sharif. Andrew Siegel. Samantha Marie Simmons.
Herbert Alexander Simpson III. Leah Victoria Smith. Logan Edward Smith. Madeline Renee Smith. Maxwell Douglas Smith. Simone Benet Smith. Skylar Elizabeth Smith. Taylor Ann Smith. Calvin Rue Summers. Samarje Laron Spears. Benjamin Peter Stachnik. Jonathan Michael Southup. Claire Josephine Steinbach. Taylor Brielle Stagall. Elizabeth Anna Stinson. Riley Emma Stocky. Ryan Joseph Stock. Heather Dahlia Stoddard. Isabella Rose Swaninger. Olivia Marie Swords. Christian Amir Talley. Natalie Elizabeth Tasich. Trishana Marcia Taylor. Jason Ledford Thayer. Michael Ian Thoreau. Connor Thomas Tillotson. Zach Tomlinson. Christian Paul Touchton. Jamie Elise Trepic. Caroline Eaton Tripp. Patrick Gerald Trout. Lila Rose Tudrick. Kevin Earl Upcott. Brooklyn Lee Van Horn. Jeffrey Paul Vlahakis. Charles Alton Voss. Ian Michael Wagner. Franklin Dale Wall. Chloe Renee Wallace. Sarai Madison Ware. 
Jeremiah Andre Watkins. Sydney Marie Webb. Jack Robert Weed. Maxwell Henry Weisberger. Jack Harrison Welcher. Wiley Harrison Welsh. Cheyenne Judith Wilhoyt. Zoe Marie Williams. Dahlia Emlyn Wilson Welsh. Ishmael Wilson. Caleb Shane Wingate. Veronica Rose Worth. Mitchell Aaron Wolford. Carolyn Francis Wooten. Liam Sean Matthew Wright. Brando, Brandon Michael Worm. Ari Gabriel Yaker. Catherine Maria Ziley. Jane Elizabeth Zoltowski. Derek Jeffrey Zergable. Parents and guests, please remain seated until graduates have exited the pavilion. Class of 2019, please stand. Please switch your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, fellow Berkeley High School alumni!